Hello and welcome to another Near Reading cast. As always, my name is Jono and I'm joined once again by Joey. How are you doing, Joey? Not too bad, thank you. Is ever not going to be Jono? It's as always. No, it's always. <laughs> always Jono. Goddamn always. Um, and we are in round four now of the UK Nationals, which took place at the UK Games Expo in Birmingham in May. And uh, we have Chris Dyer uh, on the left, and we're a fan of Chris Dyer uh, at Near Reading cast. Not Greer, playing sorry. noise, though. He's not playing noise, no, he's playing Kate. Uh, he likes his noise quite a lot, doesn't he? Yeah. He does. And on um, the right we have Sam uh, Burdock. Um, I don't know where Sam is from, playing his uh, Blue Sun. So I know Chris from Exeter. Chris, Sam Chris from? Oh, he's down around that kind of area, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah so. that's right. You should know that. I, I actually don't know. Bristol got, it's definitely uh, south mm. west. Yeah, so, um, yes, yeah, so we've got Kagan's Blue Sun. I think I said that already. So, uh, these guys are on table two or three in round four. I think it's reasonable. I actually didn't make a note of the records, and I really should have. It's reasonable to suspect at this point they're both uh, six no. I'd say they're Under probably feet, one. Maybe. Yeah, yeah no, point. I don't even think one lost. I, mark, think. I don't think because we're very high up and it's a massive field, so I think at this likely, unlikely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I'd say there's, it's likely there's still you know six or eight people are still undefeated. Um, so um, Chris kind of set up with some uh, set up an astrolabe. Early astrolabe is good, of course, and um, economy for sure gamble. Uh, and Blue Sun does some fairly traditional icing. Data Pike's great from Blue Sun. It's good, and it's good to, it's annoying to face check. Yeah, they and, bounce it back. And, and it goes down somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you've lost two credits. Yeah, that's right. Um, so he does pick it up. Um, and now whatever he puts down here again, he's not going to want to face check it. So that's true. Data yeah. Pike and he'll lose two credits. Uh, he cheats and takes too much, too much money. Dirty. Dirty. Yeah, I know. I know, right? It's right, Chris Coy. Okay, <laughs> um, and so he installs something back at R&D, I guess it could be the same thing. Um, and an upgrade in the remote, Christian Grid, I guess. Not in the remote, in HQ. Oh, sorry, in HQ, sorry. An upgrade in the HQ, Christian Grid, I assume. Yeah, um... I, sure. I, I mean, it could be a reset station, that's the other one, but yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think against Kate, what you expect I, I feel like Christian on R&D is better, but... Yeah, against Kate, well. you think R&D against... Oh, Anarchs wait. And no, I remember why. It's going to be Christian Grid, and I remember why, but we're going to find out as we go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, of course. Well. <laughs> I, I suddenly realised what this deck does. Yeah. yeah. There's a Christian good on HQ. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, Christian I'll... good on HQ beats so many runners as well. It like, does. It's so I mean, it's really painful. good as criminal, obviously. Criminal and Anarchs nowadays. Like, it stops the vamp, stops the, like, loads of things with Eater. Um, but against Kate is... So I should, uh, I should mention, by the way, that IS is on Archives. It is Archives. Um, and that's a trash card in Archives. Sure, okay. Yeah. It is unclear because he hasn't actually played a card yet. Yeah. He's played many cards. <laughs> sure. He hasn't made a remote yet, yeah. He hasn't, hasn't scarred any cards yet. So, self mod is going to uh, get him where he wants to go. Um, and some economy. Set, more set up from Kate. So, Kate's kind of taking time with self mod, and clone chip isn't necessarily useful yet. No, you need to. Astrolabe's Astral paying off, though. You have to set up because you were worried about your house. So, I've got a question. Why would you ask archives? As as why you just blew some. Uh, what are you worried about? It's not gonna be a sneak or anything. No, but I uh, stopped dirty laundry money. Sure. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. Maybe. That's like, I mean, Kate it's economy like packages, the prepaid, and, stuff, and but... you should have three lucky finds, three short gambles, three uh, dirty laundry. laundry. So you okay. just stopped a third of their economy. Almost. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So. Um, but they'll be remote. Well, maybe not. Okay. It's blue sun. They it's might not be remote. So. Yeah. Okay. So it's not an unusual play if you've got the ice. Uh, Plascrete. Plascrete. That'll not help. Not all Kate's run a Plascrete. So uh, but not, not all Waylands are trying to kill you. But just in case, it's still... It's, yeah. it's worth the four credits. Just that little bit of confidence. You've got to run safe, for sure. And a lucky find. That's as good as a Plascrete as well. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, um, uh, and the other clip is a draw. So Blue Sun then is going to set up another remote. It's, it's already, is that three draws, I think, from Astro Lake? In good use. You might consider um, icing the Jackson just to reuse servers. Jackson's probably going to go away at some point. Sure, that's good. Good anti astrolabe play. Yeah, although you're maybe not planning on having more than one remote ever. That's also possible. So Jackson is um, rattling through quite a lot of discarded cards now, and is presumably helping Sam get whatever cards he wants to set up. Um, like whatever those may be, we haven't actually had any. Apart from Jackson, we haven't had any face-up cards yet, so we've got no idea what to Data expect. Data Pike. Data Pike got oh, I'm sorry, we had Data Pike, yeah, so there's 
could be a day park somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's an archive. Well, cheap tank while somewhere. Chris has a bit more money, I like if he runs here just to yeah, see just what's going rest on. Yeah, stuff. You you're, can't, not, you're not going to die. You can't tax. The problem is you can never tax self them down. Because normally you just no, run to tax them down, but they bounce it back. It back that's it. There's, there's not going to be any emergency shutdowns, that kind of thing. Which is so, uh, so that, okay, so we've got Dirty Laundry on R&D. So he's got the money to get whatever break he needs. Um, to make sure he gets so you can get him whatever it is. Back. If it's a data bike, then we know it'd be pretty cheap to work. So it is the data bike, okay. So he's going to wizard it again. Uh, self mods, yep, so fires. Gordian blades being the, the best thing to get to the data bike. Yeah, it depends what he's got. I mean, if he's planning on pressuring R&D a lot, he might consider a cyber cipher, but you're right, it's Gordian blades. <laughs> so it's the same price for cyber cipher and Gordian blades to get in there. Too, too strong, so. Job, yeah, okay, you're right. But if there's lots of... Um... Yeah, you're right. Why would anyone ever play Soul Cipher? Wooden Blade's just better, right? Well, Lotus Field and, and many, <laughs> sure, many yeah, sure. more than two strength, you know, tall booth. <laughs> yeah, okay. Again, it's a data pike. <laughs> if you've got the Gordian Blade, you put it there. So, um, flush out of Jackson as well. All right. Another clone chip. Not, not using Kate's ability because he's already installed the Gordian Blade. That's right, yeah. Um, so, do we bounce the data pike here again and keep him guessing? Uh, I mean, maybe. I mean, at some point, uh, it's just worth keeping credits on the table. I mean, you feel like maybe he's got restructures. If he's got a restructure in hand, for instance, I'd say picking up that data pack is a certainty. But if he doesn't have any in the deck, if he's just like hedge funds and stuff, then maybe he's fine at eight. Yeah, he could also swap this for a non-code gate for the device. Yeah, that's true. Um, if he's worried about R&D, which he might be. So three face-down cards went away with Jackson, so we don't know what they were. I, I'm going to guess that one of them's an agenda. Okay, so... Is wow. this an elaborate bluff? Because he's got, he's it's, got clone chips. He's got clone chips got into a self-mod, so he can, he can get in this remote. I mean, it's six to res. Yeah. I mean, he's got he's got six credits to res with, I should say, so it's not going to be anything that painful. Okay, so it's a, instead it's a draw, uh, a draw and then install self-mod, and he runs. And there's his hive, okay. I will be taxing. Yeah, that's really taxing for Lady, right? But this is... For me, I have alarm bells, right? This is what? What's going on? I mean, so are you worried? Are you worried about punitive or something? Maybe, but surely not, because he can't pull it off. So it is his shattered remains. So I don't know. I feel like I would have. Yes, I'm not that. It's Ashley and Plasgrit. Good and, choices both. And a lady with three counters, a lot of money. Yeah, and he's and he spent a lot of lady and used up herself mods to get in. So yeah. Um, That's a so huge, not bad. huge swing for Sam. There was um, he did spend his last credit to actually trigger it. So he yeah, he can bounce back now. He can bounce the hive back. Or... He can. He bounce back. So there's no ash blade, so he could in fact bounce back hard and not worry about it. Um, or yeah, he can get up to five for sure. Anyway, uh, so it's a run on HQ while he's got no. <laughs> it's Chris. Chris asks, <laughs> "Is it Christian?" Yes, <laughs> of course it is. Uh, so and then he sees a uh, crick. Okay. So maybe that's maybe he's got more than one crick. There's already one on archives. I don't know. If he's running crick, that's an obvious one to put on archives. If you see it. Yeah. So Blue Sun does in fact pick up the data bike. We've just got the Gordian Blade out. So to get uh, four credits. That hive's going to remain taxing for Lady for a long time. I mean, he needs mm. three Lady counters to get through it. So that's it's tough. So even though Kate stands may hit a trap. I mean, it's not it's not that bad for Kate. I mean, these are Plascrete. So, there's a danger element now. There was but five credits of investment that went there. Yeah, and, and three lady counters and an SMC. And yeah. So it was like it was definitely a swing. It, it was tough, yeah. but it, he has not lost the game by any stretch. No, section. but you've also you found out what the ice is. You know, you can break it. I'll be not very cheaply, but yeah. Okay, so third clone ship, so we can get self mods. So it's more money now, really. Yeah, I've got to assume with I mean three clone ships, maybe parasite in the deck, but. Parasite is really hard to play well against Blue Sun. Uh, yes. You need data suckers. Oh, yes. You need a lot of them. Yeah, unless you've got um, pops. I don't know, right, like yeah. zero strength stuff. You can just send away, but I often I often have as an anarch three data suckers out with like nine counters on, yeah. ready so I can kill anything in that one turn. Yeah, um, sure. Or even like ice walls if you do it the turn before, all that kind of yeah. stuff. But it has to all be res. You can't do it during a run. Yeah. 
Okay, so uh, Blue Sun reses um, Executive Bootcamp, which in turn reses Miramati on HQ, so I quite like that. It's good. Uh, it's not particularly taxing for um, Lady. It's only one so we're going to see, so he's popping this, so we're going to see a bit about how away. his deck works, because what, what is the most important asset in... So he's already said he's going to get an Adonis. Adonis. So the, uh, I know you've played around this as well. The trick with Adonis is that you can stall it, you can res it at the end of the runner turn for four, and then pick up a start of your turn. You get three start of turn from it, and then pick up again on the four. So you can net three, three credits for, for click. one click on the previous turn. Yeah. yeah. So it's and it's it also has a kind of bluffing element because you can put it down, and the runner will be like, "Oh, is that Adonis again?" But this time it's an agenda, and you know, whatever. So uh, it's a fairly sustainable source of economy, I guess. Yeah. What made it viable was the boot eventually. camps because mm. it was so much influence. But now you can run you can one just of have them. One or three boot camps. And three yeah. boot camps. So. Yeah, um, that's it. Maybe it gets trashed, I guess. Yeah. No, you won't. Okay, so um, Sam has installed by his own mission a mystery card in this remote. Could be the Adonis. <laughs> I expect it is the Adonis. You shouldn't see Adonis. I mean, <laughs> the, the, I mean, it could be an it could be an amazing Atlas play, but you want Atlas counters. Mm. So if it's an Atlas, you wanna you wanna have a big window and mm, yeah. more SMCs. Yeah. So um, more setup and R and D interface as well. So so it is an Adonis. Uh, so. R&D interface as well, which means that um, Chris can pressure R&D fairly well. self model meaning he can get out whatever he needs. Uh, so he's loading it up the Adonis. Do you think he's not bouncing it this turn? No. So I think what he, the approach he took was that he he um, he bounced it every couple of turns. Like he yeah, was perfectly happy. Yeah, though. yeah. Uh, he was perfectly happy for it to you know net him a couple of kickless credits as well while it's down for the sunk uh, investment. Yeah. Um, I mean. Chris isn't getting in there this turn with one lady counter and only no, six that's credits. True. And he probably doesn't care enough to, so he he's, he's not going to kind of bust a gut to try and get in. I don't know. You can if there's one Adonis in this deck, you want it trash. If you can yeah, get that in the okay. bin, it's huge. Right. Uh, yeah, if you let it, if you let it keep going, bounce, 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 you you're never getting the money back. You can always do. Uh, we're a PG podcast, so I can't possibly give it its full name. But you can always do shape of BS yeah. and. Um, Use the clone chip to install something, trashing your lady, and use another clone chip to reinstall the lady, yeah. or whatever. You and can always you do that. Get loads of money really quickly. Like, yeah, it's possible. You get but in, but yeah. If you're taxing all that recursion, that's, that's you know, it's good. Yeah, that's it. Um, okay. He's let it run run down again, so it's, it's down to. So I think he's going to pick up next turn. He'll pick he'll up before it expires for sure. But he can take the three and bounce it. So. so you but he can't take the last three. And bounce it. And no. bounce it. So he. he there's no reason to not take it this Although time. he could bounce it for four before it runs out. So that is an option if you want to do it that late. But yeah. Should something more important come up? I don't know. Okay, so it's uh, just a kind of economic uh, build up from Chris. And so as credits. expected, he. Yeah, he Start of turn, he gave seven three. credits. Yeah. It's insane. It's like you've, mal- it's like you've clicked the line, but for no credit. For no yeah, credit. that's it. It's yeah. amazing. And it's come back. So that can go down. So that one Adonis has just allowed him to get up to 17 credits, and yeah. he's still got it in hand. It's uh, this is why yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's made. You have to dedicate quite a lot, and you have to kind of half defend it. But yeah. but he can build up a bit, and then when he's got some money, um, he'll have loads of money to defend actual agendas. I mean, if you're, I know it's unlikely you've got a lot of HQ pressure, but would you consider running HQ just to uh, just check because agendas might start building up. Especially, especially if the, the Adonis if an Adonis gets raised, if that is an Adonis and he gets raised, I mean, there's a you might you might consider trashing that Chrisium. So Chris didn't make the link in his mind to what Chris so what the Chris HQ might mean what, for Blue Sun. What that could possibly mean. Uh, and I so I had that initial reaction as well, but then after a couple of turns, I was like, of course. So I would consider trashing that Chrisium. Soon, <laughs> yeah, while he can, I would maybe yeah. trust that Christian grid. Yeah, and um, you know, you can have a look, have a look in HQ as well. Might not. make some problems early yeah. on. Later yeah, on. later. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so uh, Adonis gets raised again. So it is still an Adonis, and he's still building, putting the credits on. So he's still going to let it. So he's going to let it go bit. a few times. Yeah. I think I think if you're Christian, you have to get in there and take it now. Um, it's hard because you've got less money and you've mm. lost your plus three and you don't want to die. But, yeah, he, but if you let that run, you're never going to have more money. I think what's happen- possibly happening in Chris's mind now because he's, he's, he hasn't run since he hit that Shattered Remains and lost his plus three. And you just get the feeling that the back of his mind is like, okay, this is it. This is the game. I'm going to die. So it's got to be economy. 
So maybe he's he's just saying, okay, I'm going to try to out money Blue Sun. You can't <laughs> out money hard. Adonis Mounting. Yeah. yeah, it can't be done. And he's an oversight on Susanna as well to make life even better. So I think you go in and trash this because the longer you leave you it, break the more it. chance he has to kill pieces. Mm. So I think you get in there and you take it now. He has to recur a lady to do it, but I think mm. he. Well, you can break you can break this Susanna as well. I'd like to see, it's not a lot of money, but I'd like to see the oversight go away. Yep. Seeing Susanna go away isn't the end of the world because it's not going to be easy to break multiple times. This way, if you're running James's Kate, you can SMC for David. So yeah, that's a great way of breaking. It. Well, the this is it. So the. I guess traditional. Uh, nice old time day. Yeah. <laughs> Harking no back to our regional is coverage. Is <laughs> um, so the old art cape as well. He's using that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So um, the traditional cape package uh, in terms of sentry breakers is often there isn't a typical sentry breaker, which is an atman and a um, mimic, and then uh, maybe mimic. Sure, and then a, a Deus Ex, possibly though. There's lots of, less of that sharp shooters shoot more likely. Out, um, and because it's not because it's a just a flat sentry. Yeah. It's not a. It's not a uh, trasher, and it's not a. <laughs> yeah, I would go as far as AP. say Sam put Susan in this deck because, because Kate struggles to beat it. Yeah, because yeah. it's not it's, AP. The only way to break not... it is Atman, and you don't want Atman at strength seven. Yeah. So you need a lot of support. Yeah. There is a data sucker, but so why probably why data sucker's gone down? Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so Oscar's goes back on R and D. Uh, he obviously picked up the Susanna to get the money. Um, he missed he's, Sam, a couple of times Sam's missed credit paying to install ice as well he's always sort of second ice and not paid I mean it's like two credits but in a game that could very well come down to economic decisions it's uh, yeah it's tough but mistakes I'm not going to criticise mistakes in this especially as we go on uh, this, this is a long day gonna, it's a yeah, long time yeah. so there's going to be mistakes especially in the elimination as well and it's at the end of a long day and everyone's like really yeah. high tension I've started editing them now that goes for, for like people good. in the comments as well I mean these these players we know them both they're yeah, incredibly yeah, nice no one's yeah. doing anything deliberately it's and it's not like oh, I get extra credit here yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so um, right. okay so um, more set up from both sides so more money from Blue Sun I mean yeah uh, I, I mean, now, so I think that last cycle of Adonis was the time to trash it. Uh, it is too late now. If it comes down again. Now, you're like, I, I, are you ever going to get that money? But you're never, Are you ever going to beat the 40 you, you, credits? You're never going to get him down to, like, 20 again, are you? I mean, yeah. I mean Make him raise everything. But, yeah. yeah. So we've got two ice and archives as well. I'm still struggling to find out. Well, I think he drew the crick, and he was like, oh, I might as well. He made, yeah, maybe that's it. He maybe had a second it's, crick or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be surprised to ever see But Crick, now. even on Maybe HQ or R&D, or a remote, yeah, it's, just it's two, credit, break, two yeah. credit tax for one credit res. It's still good. Yeah. It's like a, yeah. pop, a pop level of efficiency. Yeah, you want. And That's the why Crick's good. amazing, yeah. The effect's good in archives, obviously, because it protects archives as well. Um, yeah. I mean, on archives, it's it's horrible. But not on archives, it's still still a great tax. Mm. So, yeah. um, sure. I don't know if there's much worth it installing in archives, though. There's not, I guess EBC is the obvious one, but... Is it boot camp? Uh, start raising ice cheaply. I don't know. Maybe he's going to power shut down at some point. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, that would be a reason to us. Uh, he's obviously got Jacksons, but yeah. yeah so um, it's quite a it's quite a slow burn. This one. It's, it is a slow game. Well, that Blue Sun does that. So Chris is obviously yeah. incredibly well set up. And he's, 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 but he's very to... nervous about running. You can tell. I mean, yeah, and you should be. It's Blue Sun. And and this, <laughs> but now we've got a, a two cars in this remote. So. I mean, you don't consider and running it. And we've, so we've got an Adonis. So you've got an Adonis. Okay. So, um, I, I've got a hundred of that other card is. Any options? I mean, so it could be an Ash, for instance. It could be an Ash. Spend. I think, let me just say it. Race? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that this deck contains off the grid, Jerry. I think yeah, that's a you thing. Think? You might as well stop this around. All our viewers understand by now anyway. Yeah, I've played, um, I think off the grid is a card we're going to see. <laughs> I've played against Sam on Octagon where he was playing off the grid Blue Sun and I had Eater and he has yeah. Christian Grid Reds on HQ and he was yeah. like, shrug shoulders, I can't win this game. Yeah. Like, it's impossible. To clarify, um, <laughs> I don't know for a fact that's off the grid in that remote. It could sure. be an Ash or something. But I do know off the grid, off the grid is in this deck and I wouldn't be surprised. Because that could easily become a scoring, scoring remote with an off the grid and say one more an extra ice or two on HQ or that remote so yeah. you've got a yeah it's off the grid is really interesting because if you can you can make 
almost HQ your scoring remote. That's right. Like, you yeah. build that remote up, and then you can have no ice. That's, That's right. And remote. and icing HQ becomes more useful because if you've got Christian Grid, they're going to have to roll on multiple times. So every ice you install on HQ is kind of two ice they've got to break because uh, they've got to get him twice. They've got to get him once to trash the Christian Grid and then again uh, to the trash remote. the off the grid. I mean, yeah, and uh, then they've got one of them. And then they're so poor that they get their house burnt down. It's 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 a yeah. great deck. It's a bit comboy, but when you've got to yeah. this point of the game, yeah, and you've it's built the money set up. up yeah. It you've got to think that Sam, having not given up a lot of agendas early on, is in a really favourable position now. Because mm. if he's running that sort of combo he's so deck, rich. Yeah. the risk is early in the game. He's got through that part. So Is it reasonable to assume that his deck can murder you? I'd say there's probably I said maybe punitive is more like in Scorched Earth. I doubt he's got a, he's spending any influence on things like uh, Adonis. He probably doesn't have any influence on NBN and Tracy run, stuff. If you run the one Adonis, there is there is space for a Yeah, okay. You might have a um, Source or two or But it spreads you a little bit thinner. Yeah. Um, you mean you sort of need the Atlas counter to, to find the sea source. Sure. Um, so, I mean, Wayland is the best at tutoring for a corp. So you can run th like one odds of your influence splash like Adonis mm. and. and and get away with it. You have to assume some death. Um, yeah, okay. Especially yeah, no, UK you should always. We're known, we're known for killing. There was, everyone was joking no. about the, at the Belgium Nationals, sitting down going, oh, you're British, and then it's all in Plast Street turned one. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, there was this oh, there was know. a thread about it, yeah. I um, didn't know we had that kind of reputation, but good. Yeah, <laughs> no, we do. Um, <laughs> okay, yes, uh, our opponents should fear us. Yeah. Uh, so we've got all three um, prepaids down now, so, uh, and a whole, Sweet of stuff, but Chris, but Chris is still credits. not running. I mean, at, so at this point, I'm not sure what his game plan is. Is he he can't seriously be trying to out economy Blue Sun? Maybe he's trying to. He's doing a good job of it though. Is it <laughs> is it still 33 credits behind? <laughs> is it fair to say that um, the uh, that that was the only class green in his deck? <laughs> and uh, quite possibly. Maybe he's got another one. He's trying there'll to draw a, for there'll it. Be a, there'll be a levy in the deck. Though. Uh, so he's trying to draw for a levy to get a pass creep. Oh, that's desperate. Okay, sure. He's okay. got a legwork in hand, I can see, and a maker's so eye. We've got so he stall, can... double advance, and an off the grid, as oh. expected. Okay, so, uh, Joey, what do you reckon? Is this a trap? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say there is approximately zero chance this is a trap. That would be amazing. I mean, if, if it's a trap, it's not going to go off. But, yeah. thing is, uh, it's not. Uh, HQ isn't impenetrable. I mean, he's got. I mean, Kate can always get in. The question is, if he does get in, does he. Does he die? Yes. Yeah. He's got he's got enough money that he probably could probably could get into HQ twice and the remote and steal. But he'd probably have fewer than five credits left than he does, so hmm. Um exactly. But but it, it, Yeah. So, um we have same old levy. He really wants that basket back. I guess yeah, I guess so. Maybe that was his plan. He's like, I know. If, maybe he knew he had Levy in the bin, so he's he can same old thing for it. But he well, just on the off chance, maybe that's a Chronos project. But I mean, maybe, it's unlikely. <laughs> yeah, but. you're right. But maybe he's just trying to get things set up. He's like, I might as well power through, get my prepaids, you know, get my Astrolabe and R and D. Another Levy. Uh, it's possible he's got more than one. I guess. I don't know. I hope he removed that one from the game. I think he did. So. Okay, so it's self mod. Um, so he's just uh, Sam's trying to work out what if he should pick up this thing he can pick up the off the grid if he wants <laughs> good he's going to pick up the ice off the grid might as well stay res I guess I don't know so he's going to pick that up and presumably now he's going to score out this agenda so what do we think it is I saw a high risk in his hand earlier could be like this will tell us whether he's killing or not right high risk it could go either way, to be honest. 27 credits on Kate's side. Oh, God, that's getting clipped next turn, isn't it? Well, <laughs> just wait. Kate's only going to get richer, right? I mean, especially if he doesn't run. Oh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, okay. I want to see I want to see triple figure credits. We can, It could happen. No, game. I don't, because the box isn't big enough. It, it's just, you I, can't do it. No, <laughs> please don't. You have I'd, a roll over. Like, yeah, I'd have, to, I'd have to change the template or whatever. Oh, does that yeah. mean we don't get to 100 this game? Oh. Uh... Do you know what? I'm, I'm actually telling you no, we don't get to 100 because uh -huh. that'd be absurd. That'd be disgusting. I will tell you we don't get to 100. Sure. I don't think I don't consider it a spoiler. Hey, look! Yeah, look how close he could be if he clicked. If he clicked now and like restructured, he could bounce the off the grid. He'd be at 100 credits. You're right. You should win the game if that happens. Sure. You're right. If having 100 credits won you the game, he could do that. that but was it a doesn't. <laughs> so he didn't. 
Okay, uh, so he's feeling pretty good. So he installs some double advances again. I mean, um, there's now one less ice that Kay has to deal with, but he needs to respond, right? I mean, would you consider at least trashing the Chrissium and off the grid? Okay, so he, he's going for indexing on R&D. So maybe he's hoping to steal... Maybe... Ah, oh, right. Maybe he's looking for a government takeover. Maybe that's his plan. He's like, okay. If I get a government takeover, then I'm on six, and I can... I don't know if there's a government takeover from this deck. Though. You think there's not? I mean, I don't know. It's possible. You do know. You've like seen this game. <laughs> I, I, I think there's not. I used it a long time ago, so I don't remember the details. I think if you're but... Chris right now, you have to assume that um, you're not going to get... You're not going to get killed? Ah, strength seven Atman. Excellent. Exactly the strength you always wanted. This will have good use. Yeah. <laughs> but it will. It does walk through Susano, so... Uh, okay, I'm but then he bounces it back and he never installs a Susano Yeah, yeah, again, you're quite and right. You've, you've done Susano's yeah, job. Yeah, you're right. Uh, no, I think the only way Chris wins this now is if he assumes he, he's not going to die, there is no kill pieces in this deck, and sure. you start running into HQ, trust the Christian grid, try and get that agenda. Because mm. if you keep respecting the kill threat, then you're going to struggle to yeah, yeah to okay. win this game now, I think. So, let's see, what's he got? I did not get a good look while trying to step through, but I can tell you he's got... There's at least uh, an agenda in there. Right? There is an agenda, but I couldn't work out what it was. There's, like there's two pieces of ice that I can identify. There's a curtain wall, and there's an oversight AI. So curtain wall and oversight AI is annoying. Um, yeah, so... It's kind of... She's gone down 40 credits since she's gone down 24. I was really looking forward to making 100. Yeah. You could have done the last turn. You're right. What a spectacle that would have been. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Unfortunately, at the UK Nationals, they don't really care <laughs> about that. Yeah, I like to think if this was video. a friendly, Sam would have gone, I can make 100 Why not? this time. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Achievement get. You're right. Yeah. Okay, so um, Kate is... I, I mean, I don't know. How do you react to that? So, it, having indexed, he... Did he not go he, and take the agenda? He didn't run again. So, what does that mean? And there was an agenda, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I can work out what it was. But he also didn't see any kill pieces in there. He saw, you said two ice. He saw, yeah, he saw three pieces of ice, one of which is Kurt Wall, and he saw an oversight AI, so economy and defence. So he didn't see any kill pieces. So maybe he should rethink his decision. Maybe he's not worried about murder. Yeah. Maybe, you know. I think, I think, you've always got to worry whether about Whether that's the case or not, as I said, I think he has to assume that as the mm. only, is his only win condition right now. Okay. Um, so uh, it's Dirty Laundry on HQ, and he rezzed. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So okay. he's trying to merge you. Done. Okay. <laughs> so it's Dirty Laundry on HQ. Um, uh, I'll just run this through this quickly. Blue Summer Res Taurus. The he didn't boost Trace, and uh, which is, seems weird to me. I don't he know. Boost trace. Two credits. Trash. Yeah, like trash. Three trace. I don't know. Whether we're already into face or whatever. RDI, yeah. 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 Wow. Um, but uh, so instead he um, he just paid a credit to with his link uh, get through and then uh, broke my Miramati. He accessed the punitivity saw and trashed the Christian grid, which did get rezzed, so he couldn't run the remote. Uh, he then misplayed, actually. He babied for the second time that turn. Bad Chris. Um, so, yeah, so uh, Blue Sun has picked up Susano and will presumably advance this card three times and score. Looks like it. It's hopefully a fragment. Yikes. Okay, so uh, he's on six points, which means yeah. that he. He looks, he's looking pretty good, but it does mean that if he install double advances, say, a three-point agenda, or even a one-point agenda, it's like an NFPD for stealing, so... Yeah, I mean... It just adds extra tax to... Running this many three-pointers, maybe he runs hostiles as well. Would you consider running HQ? Uh, you know he's got to punitive. Yeah, to trash off the grid. Yeah. Now the Christian grid's gone. Yeah, it's a tough one. But he's seen... Because otherwise he bounces that for six points. He's only seen punitive, so he's not too worried about successful runs maybe but 26 plays 36 credits you can't pin it in twice you're right you're right what you said is factually correct but also yeah you can't let agendas get in there so it's really yeah I don't know it's, it's tough I mean Chris he he hit that early shattered remains he took a step back for yeah. to try and build up maybe and maybe he waited too long I don't know he, I'm not sure what his plan was to try and out money maybe but yeah um, he's do, he's doing Having same. said that, he's got an R&D interface. Uh, you know, he's done some indexing. I guess we know there's an agenda in R&D, although I think he may have just let so that this go. This is interesting. Like, he could make his he eye. Knows, he knows he can get into this. Yeah. He knows he can. Okay, so he goes for a maker's eye. So I guess he's hoping for track. game here. Or if he gets an agenda. What have we got? Okay, so just got kind of more website eye and... Uh, Chris, Chris, sure. So he left the agenda... 
somewhere that he could get it when you saw it on the indexing. He didn't put it down near the bottom? Uh, yes, you're right. So, um, yeah. So he saw, so the Christian group has been new cards, so that means he did feed the agenda. He left the agenda, I think he left the agenda on top actually. So he did feed it, which means he didn't go back in and steal it. So off the good trash so it's still got a punitive. And you've got, I've got a shooting this trap. I think it's an agenda, but I think it's an agenda and Sam doesn't care because he's got two punitives in hand. You can't dump punit him. He's got high risk. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> oh, he has got high risk. <laughs> Wow, he can double punit of him. So, yeah, that is it. So that's exactly right. He picks yeah. up the Taurus, high I risk. forgot the high risk. risk. Always forget the high risk. High risk, that's, yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's a card, win -win yeah. situation there. If he stole he was. it, he died. That was it. And yeah. that's why he just, he just like, yeah, whatever. Okay. And that's why he'd make his eye run in. Yeah, there's no Christian grid. Yeah. Don't care. Yeah, so, um, so deadly, deadly death from Sam's Blue Sun with a bit of off the grid, which I like. Um, and obviously Christian grid. Yeah, it's nice and off the grid work. I remember when Off The Grid, uh, sorry, when Christian Grid like, came out and there was a bit of an outcry because everyone was like, oh, it's so broken because Off The Grid and so many other like uh, things depend on successful runs. Oh, was Blue Sun it's out It's not exactly time? overplayed. Um, I don't think so. Because Blue Sun really helps time. with the money yeah. because that's like nine credits worth of things to res. Hmm. Once you have Blue Sun's sort of ability to maintain yeah. their money, that really helps that plan. Um, I think it's a good, it's a great deck. Uh, yeah, maybe right. Scary. But it's not exactly overplayed, but uh, it's really nice to see actually and it, Works perfectly. I mean, he, uh, he built up slowly. He got an early Jackson, which presumably let him filter away some agendas, and he was able to set up. And once he had the Christian grid off the grid combo down, it was he was already economically so far ahead. I mean, that early, as I say, that early um, Shasta remains was so important. If hypothetically that hadn't happened and Kate had had a Plascrete, would it? Would Kate have been, would Chris have been a lot more aggressive with running? I'd say yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You'd, and then that's and indexing, the game, taking so, agendas. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So it's um, it's a bit of a, yeah, it's a bit of a tough one. It's a bit of a strange one um, for Kate. I'm going to assume that was the only Plasgreet, and he decided to set up and then use the the levy to try and maybe draw the Plasgreet again. I don't know. Yeah, but... most, most Kates don't run Plasgreet because they normally yeah. always have the other hand on money. But yeah, without okay. Adonis bouncing, I like one. I like, up. I like what, so I've got one Plasgreet. It's a Haley, but it's a Shaper deck, and it's, I guess, similar in kind of philosophy. And it's... Uh, but I like the one of as a kind of um, just an emergency because you don't want none. That's for sure. You need you need one. I mean, you say that we're famous in this country for you know blowing up each other's houses. Yeah. Maybe that's right. I don't know. But I run Utopia, I, Utopia shard. That's that's another. That's good the anarch yeah. way of, yeah. of not dying. Yes. Vamp and you. <laughs> yeah. No, I do. Like, I do like Utopia shard actually. Yes. Um, so that's a uh, uh, another solution which would have been nice. Yeah. He could have but... he could have survived then. He could have stolen that and then popped it. In. What maybe got lucky hitting the I don't know. Because he also could have installed it on the run that was successful, the trashy off the grid. Installed the Utopia back uh, shard. Then instead of accessing. Instead of accessing. Does it have to be successful? Tra still trashed off the grid. Does it does it say it has to be successful? Yeah, if successful instead of accessing. So off the grid still trashes. Okay. You install right. Utopia shard. You run oh, right. seal the agenda, pop the Utopia shard, sounds and like, hope to hit the but in the penis. Sounds like an amazing plan. I bet he doesn't have it in his deck. No, 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 no. <laughs> and it's one of anyway, so you can't you can't guarantee you're gonna have it yeah, for that kind of thing. Sure. So um yeah, okay. So I can't like that. I mean, Chris's um, Kate deck seemed to be fairly fairly kind of by the numbers. Kate, nothing... Um, oh, so he went, nothing he went with... The, so he didn't go with Proko. He went with the baby. Like so he had baby. Yes, like in between that previous video. Yes, taking right. the speed of the baby versus the long-term economy of the Proko. I think yes. in that matchup, you prefer Proko. Um, and again, as I mentioned in the previous video as well, it's, it's the way you play it. So he, he, his plan was to draw and credit only once a turn, which means baby's perfect. I mean, yeah. he it depends didn't, who he, you're playing against. He didn't draw, do extra draws, or that's not actually true. He did some extra draws at some point, but he liked the economic advantage, the early economic advantage, mm. I guess. Yeah, great. Okay, so uh, we are going to see a reverse in this game. Um, so in the reverse game, it was Chris's uh, Kate. Uh, sorry, that was Kate. Chris's RP. I'll get this right. Um, which I think is a again a fairly by the numbers RP deck. I don't actually remember too much, but. I, there's don't think too many surprises in it. Um, against Sam's Chaos Theory deck. Chaos Theory. It is fair Sam to say, likes Chaos Theory. It's fair to say that this Chaos Theory deck contains a lot of surprises. <laughs> it's, it's crackers. And um, I, I'm looking Sam's forward a lovely guy, but he was really annoying to edit that video. <laughs> so thanks, Sam. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we'll see that anyway. That'll be, actually, that will be an interesting game. Um, it's also fair to say this first game was a bit of a slog. So uh, there is a definite time pressure in the second game. So sure. we should do that. Okay, yeah. Interesting. Okay, so, um, yeah, hopefully 
you guys are tuning for that so we'll see that so thank you joey thank, thank you very much on. yes and thank you for watching and we'll see you next time